In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate pips in Forex trading. For the beginner trader, you will really need to learn this because it forms the very basic of your understanding of Forex trading. Even some professional traders are finding it difficult to understand what pips is. So I'm going to simplify everything for you in this particular video. And if you are joining us for the first time, this is actually the third video in this Forex trading school. It is an entire course. You make sure you watch every single video in this to learn everything about this. So you can see all the videos right here so make sure you follow through everything by the end of this particular course you'll be very okay and good to start trading in the forex market so coming back to our slides what exactly is a pip a pip simply means price interest point and it is the smallest increment by which the value of a currency pa can change most pa go out to four decimal places now when we talk about pas in forex market we're simply saying you can only trade in the forex market in pa what that means is that if you have euro you can exchange it for dollar and if you have dollar you can exchange it for euro you cannot trade just one currency so this is why they are all paid and the ones that have usd we call them major peers and major peers have four decimal places as you can see one two three four what this means is that one euro in the market is equivalent to 1.1051 dollar the smallest difference that we are seeing here after this decimal is what gives people money so the major currency peers have four decimal places and in this kind of situation the last digit that is the fourth digit is known as your pip every single currency that has this usd have at least four decimal places for you to see and then the last digit is known as your pip but there are some exception to this such as the japanese yen and gold they have two decimal places and we're going to talk about that and if you look at your meta trader 4 or meta trader 5 or even trading view depending on what platform you're using for trading you will see some brokers will actually give you up to five decimal places i'm going to show you what that means subsequently if you come over here you can actually see it gbp usd equivalent to 1.3054 and then the last digit is known as a pipette it is simply like a fraction of a pip we don't consider it because it is very infinitesimal when we come to measure a pip we don't consider this last one so we only consider the fourth digit as our pip okay we have an increment of two pips four plus two will give you six so this one we have an increment of two pips and then likewise for this one gold we can see it has two decimal places at the end and then we consider the last one as our pip so this is actually how you can literally see your pip we're going to go through a practical calculation on how you can calculate pip the next one is actually where we can see what that means for the purpose of beta explaining the calculations exchange will be expressed as a ratio that means one euro is equivalent to this that is what i actually showed you one euro is equivalent to 1.051 and that is the pip okay so how do we calculate a pip if you want to add pip to a four decimal place currency pay you will multiply it by 0 0.0001 okay i will show you what that means whatever value you get Add it up to the market price of the currency PA. And then the next one is if you want to add pips to a two decimal place currency PA, multiply it by 0 0.01. Whatever value you get, add it up to the market price of that currency PA. So look at this 103.68 plus two pips will give you this amount of pips. But I will show you how that comes about. So if we go to the next slide, you can see example. Let's say we have australian dollar against the us dollar and this is the current market price okay if we want to add 20 pip to this what we need to do is that we will multiply 20 pip by 0 0.0001 and then the value it gives us is 0 0.0020 so we will add this value to this market price okay so we have this market price plus the value we got from the multiplication of this and this it will give us the current price so we add 20 pip to it and we got that in this particular slide and then likewise the next thing is this if we have usd jpy as this price currently that means one usd is equivalent to this japanese yen let's add 20 pip to it we multiply it by 0 0.01 this time around and then it will give us this value 
So 107.31, that is the price we have here, plus 0 0.2, that's the result of our multiplication here, we will have this, that is the current price. If you come to your MT4, you can actually see, this is where all the pips are represented, you can see the price movement. As price begins to move, you're going to see the increment in PIP. So if you want to even do it very easy and simple, you simply come and carry your crosshair on MT4 or MT5. Just place it from where you want to enter trade. Left click on it and you will drag it. You're going to see this crosshair that comes out with these digits beside it. So the first value is the number of candlesticks. Then the second value is where you see your number of pips. The first two digits is what really matters. The last one is just your pipette. So the first two digits is your pip. That's 54 pips. And then the last digit is your price value at that point. Okay. So you can easily do this with MT4. You drag it there. You drag it here. You will just calculate the number of pips. This is 121 pip. The four is not important. It's a pipette. So you can calculate from that. You can see everything you want to see. So if you have your MT4, you can easily do this without any stress. So this is basically the way you can calculate pips and you are going to see how easy it is. If you are targeting a point, you can simply carry your crosshair and say, I want to exit here. And if I enter from here to here, that is around 60 pips. So this is how we calculate that. I hope you got this properly. If you have any question, let me know in the comment. It is easy to calculate pips. If you want to add 20 pip to this particular one, this is a four digit currency peer USD card. If you want to add 40 pip, you will multiply 40 with 0 0.0001. The number it gives you, you will just add it to this value. And then wherever you see the price is, you can find it around here. If it is 135 point something, you just put it there. And that is where you want to see price exit. So this is basically how to calculate pip without any stress make sure you follow the next video as i show you how to do so many other things as a beginner in the forex market thank you for watching